I just hate when people stare at me while they're like walking toward my car and they see me talking to myself. It's normal. <laughs> Mind your business though. <laughs> That's normal too. end of the day i was filming some tiktoks oh god that thing did turn white i was installing this wig this is my first time installing a wig using the flip over method and i think i did okay i think i did okay i'm letting the girlies on tiktok judge anyway i'm wrapping up I cannot wait to get rid of this camera i'm wrapping up this filming session i have about one more video to film but i just wanted to come on here and say hi i actually don't have a lot of time on me today but i'll be back vlogging tomorrow so sit back relax we're gonna talk I'm getting ready to go out. My friend wants to go smoke some hookah. Fragrance of the evening. I'm gonna layer my fragrance tonight and I'm using the... Sol de Janeiro. Why did that escape me? Sol de Janeiro, Brazilian crush. My second layer is the Fenty Eau de Parfum. I don't know how to apply fragrance correctly, but my esthetician did tell me, like when you put it on your arm, you dab. You don't rub so you don't mess up the formula. Okay, wig. Act right, this wig has been slipping back. I really need you to not do that tonight. So the outfit is cute, let me show you. I have these comfy high-waisted sweats on that were gifted to me by a friend. They're very, very cute. I don't know what size these, these are, but this is an Aritzia bodysuit. It's a black V-neck bodysuit. And then this top was gifted to me by Way. It was in their PR. It says, Way says gay. And it was just a large oversized tee and all I did was cut it in half. So tonight, I think I'm just gonna wear it like this kind of like a jersey but if i wanted to i could you know thank god that i did my makeup earlier today while filming i don't have anything else to do i'm actually gonna go pick up so it's gonna be me her her homeboy and her homeboy's homeboy so i'm gonna pick up the homeboy because he's closer to me on my side of town and then i'm gonna bring him to where we're gonna meet at it's a byob Spot that I've never been to and then she's just gonna go get the alcohol and take it from there tomorrow I have an appointment in the early morning I didn't really take into consideration that I might be out when I book my appointment so hopefully it's not a long night makeup is looking good hair is looking decent enough <laughs> ready. I'm screaming ready. <laughs> ready for what my boyfriend, when I first met him he's like do you have diabetes <laughs> Because you get drunk really fast. I was like, you know, I might. I've never tested I'm it out. I'm screaming. Let me to take diabetes. Okay. I mean, if you can, because we are I doing mean, that that first chemical pill today, so I want to get as much. Don't as I can. judge the wig. Never in my whole life. She was like, why don't you stay here? And I was like, I have an appointment in the morning. I can't stay. I was really done for, but it was great. The feeling was incredible. I'm gross, and then I get dizzy, and I can't like, control my life. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want that. I didn't want that shit. It's happen. fun. It is fun. Uh -huh.
Hey Siri. Yeah? Set my timer to one minute. I need to get out this house. I just went to go pick up my Yeezys from the mailbox and the weather is beautiful. It's not hot, it's not cold, the sun is out. The background is gonna be dirty because I'm moving. I'm gonna hit up my homegirl and see what she's doing. No, mm -mm, cause we are not gonna work. Okay, I really wanna go to a coffee, coffee shop. Oh, you know that one coffee shop I went to? What was the name of it? Hey Siri, what time does Suave what time does soiree? One sec. Girl, give me a moment. What time does soiree coffee close today? Soiree coffee bar is open today from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. But it says closed now. So is it open or closed? Today's not even Monday. They should be open. Yeah, they close at 4. My brother just texted me. Family drama, I'm not making time for it today. I just wanna show you that my skin is still flaking from that chemical peel. I'm so tired, but I'm gonna get my day started. My face is like swollen, especially my eyelids. I mean, it's not bad, but I notice it, like I feel it. I don't really know why, I don't know why, but let me go ahead and do my morning routine and then I have some stuff to film. We actually should probably talk a little bit. I always wash my hands before I do my skincare, but I also always forget to take my skincare out before I wash my hands. So I'm gonna take my skincare out. Is it the vitamin C? It might be the vitamin C. 
sunscreen. My esthetician sent me a list of not only the products that I'm supposed to be using, but also the steps that I'm supposed to be taking. Let me find that because I actually forgot. Okay, so I'm either using the purifying, purifying cleanser or the oil cleanser. Then the vitamin C serum and the gel moisturizer and my SPF. I'm not using this serum. I think I overused it, which is probably why my face is so swollen. I don't know. Anyway, this is the Cell Science Mega Purifying Cleanser. So let me catch you guys up on where I've been. I've been gone since I went to, I've been gone since I went to Austin, I believe. I think I filmed, I know I filmed that trip and then never posted it because it was just a long period of traveling because after that I went to Mexico and then after Mexico I think I went to Atlanta and then after I went to Atlanta I went to Houston and then I ended up leaving my vlog camera charger vlog camera battery charger in Mexico so I had both of my camera batteries I just didn't have anything to charge them with and the reason why I didn't buy a charger sooner is because I'm planning on buying a new camera next month and I just thought it would be a waste of money if I purchased a new charger for a camera that I'm not even going to keep. Or at least that's what I think right now. So I thought it was just going to be a waste of time. But then I sat and I... Rude. But then I sat and I realized like, okay, you're missing out on a lot of opportunity to create content. Because you still have this camera. You still have about a month until you get your new camera. So you should probably just film. So that's what I did. Now that I have my charger, I'm able to utilize my camera. But funny thing is, I have, like I said, I have two camera batteries. I ended up going to the esthetician. I ended up vlogging there like you saw earlier in the video. Left one of my batteries there. The day after I get my camera battery charger, I leave a battery at my esthetician. So I'm trying to go grab it today or get somebody to grab it for me today. So life is always easier with two camera batteries. Not much has really happened since I stopped vlogging. I think it's been about two months since I posted my last vlog. Besides traveling, I have not re really been doing much in addition to that. My lease is coming to an end very soon here. So I feel like I've been apartment hunting for like two months now. And the reason being, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't know if I wanted to stay in Dallas. I didn't know if I wanted to leave Dallas. And if I left Dallas, I wasn't exactly sure where I wanted to go. Now that I've made a decision on where I'm going, Girl, the, the, the apartment hunting process has been hard. It's been so challenging in this city. I don't know what it is about this city, but I know I have to be here. So a part of me is like, maybe it's this challenging because this is a sign that I shouldn't be moving here. But then another part of me is like, maybe it's this challenging because you're gonna look back on the challenge and then you're gonna be rewarded and you're gonna be like, oh shit, all that was worth it. I don't know. All I do know is that I am gonna move to this city and I'm not gonna tell you where it is yet. I want it to be a surprise, but I have been um, apartment hunting and it's been, it's been extremely challenging to say the absolute least, <laughs> to say the freaking least. I think I'm down to about three apartments now. I'm gonna tell you. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna end up telling you the struggles of apartment hunting in this particular city but regardless i have i think i'm down to the wire now i think i'm ready to settle it honestly feels like i am about to settle really quick my esthetician has been really big on me using gel moisturizers so i've been using the polish choice c5 super boost moisturizer but girl all that vitamin c is just a lot on my skin and i think that's one of the reasons why my skin is swollen now yesterday i wore vitamin c in the morning and then i did it in the evening and that's just the serum and then in the um, morning and the evening i wore this vitamin c moisturizer I think my skin has had enough. I think my skin is saying pick somebody else. I'm gonna use this gel moisturizer by Caudalie. Venosaurus Hydra Grape Water Gel Moisturizer. There's definitely fragrance in here and I think he wouldn't want me to use this but I'm gonna use it anyway because he'll never know. I mean, he'll probably watch this. <laughs> I can't believe I've had so many gel moisturizers and I've been just using cream because that's what I'm used to. The gel moisturizer feels Oh, amazing on my skin. Anyway, so yeah, the apartment hunt continues, but I feel like it's time. It's definitely time for me to sign a lease. So I'm going to be applying very soon somewhere that, oh yeah, I was saying that I'm going to settle. So I am not getting everything that I want in an apartment. Like everything that I got in this apartment, 
I'm not, I have to lower my standards in this city, which is pretty, I mean, it sucks, but it is what it is. I'm getting a lot of what I do want in this particular apartment that I've been looking at. Um, we'll just see what happens. We'll see. But also I'm super grateful for the ability to do like FaceTime tours. I've done a few of those. I know they do virtual tours, like the 3D tours and they put it on their website, but that's not enough for me. I have to see you walk in there. I have to see you open and close the cabinets because I need to see if they're soft shut or not. I just need to see a lot, <laughs> a lot more than what a 3D tour can offer me. So I'm grateful that a lot of these apartments are allowing me to do a FaceTime tour as I'm not in that city right now. So yeah, that's really the update. Like I said, not much has been happening. I'm getting ready to move. So there's gonna be, I intend on filming a bit of moving content for social media. And I really want life to be different in this new place because here, I've been here for two years and I had a really hard time getting comfortable and that's a trauma response. I was evicted from my apartment over 10 years ago, actually, and that's traumatized me since. So although I've been here two years, I've not put up any curtains. I've not, like if you look at my apartment, it's like I, it looks like I just moved in because it's a fear of mine. Um, and it's not like I, I don't feel like I can afford where I live. It's just like I always feel like something's going to happen that's going to take this away from me. I don't know and it's not it, it hasn't happened i've been here two years it hasn't happened i actually haven't been evicted since 2012 that was the only time but before moving here i when i lived with my roommates i spent years living out of boxes even though i had an apartment even though i had a closet even though i had hangers and drawers i never made myself comfortable like that because of this trauma that i'm dealing with but i really want this next place to feel like a home to me this place feels like home because I've lived here, but it doesn't feel like home when I walk in. Like it doesn't feel like, you know what I mean? And I want to, I, I want to stop robbing myself of that feeling. So I'm gonna try my best to be more intentional at this next place. I don't know how long I'm gonna be there, but regardless of the amount of time, I want to be able to feel like this place feels like home. I want to finally be able to say like, I made this place special for me and i can't say that yet so anyway i have some work to do i feel like i'm just rambling now i'm gonna go ahead and fix this wig job i've been <laughs> trying to figure this wig out for a minute let me go grab it for you here she is i washed her last night conditioned her and she's still a little little wet but i'm trying to install this wig using the flip over method so i don't want to add any glue or any free spray the last time i tried to install it i was close but the free spray that i did use on my hair ended up turning white and it kept the wig kept slipping back a little bit i don't want that i don't like that this time i'm going to sew it on <laughs> In my mind, this makes the most sense. So I'm gonna sew the wig on around the front of my hair. I'm not gonna go all the way around the perimeter of my head, but I'm gonna do this area and then I'm gonna do this area because the wig is also too big for my head. So I'm trying to just make it a little tighter the best way that I know how. Like when I say this thing is on the tightest, it can't get any tighter than this. So I'm really trying. I ordered a medium size wig. I should have ordered a small. I just didn't know that my I didn't know the circumference of my hair. I just made a guess. I'm gonna try to install this wig better. I'm gonna straighten it, and then I'm going to do my makeup and post some TikToks about my esthetician journey, my appointments and things like that. And then I'm gonna film some makeup TikToks. Also, I try to always link the skincare products or just the products that I'm using in the video, especially for skincare AM and PM, because they're two different, you know, skincare routines. Just make sure you check the description box if you're ever curious about what products I use on my skin. I have oily skin, in case you are wondering. So the products that I'm using work for my skin type. I, I don't know about dry or normal skin. That's all I gotta say. The products that I'm using work for my oily skin type. So just keep that in mind. If we don't share the skin, same skin type.
have to go to the gas station first and foremost. Gas is $2.99 right now. I'm gonna let that baby fill up. I haven't seen the number two in so long. Even though it's literally borderline $3. <laughs> $2.99? That's all right with me. While my tank fills itself up. <laughs> That's it? Way quicker than I expected. Now I'm gonna head over to the thrift store. I hate when people pop their trunk right in front of me. It makes me anxious. Um, put this thing in drive just in case. So yeah, I don't really have like a specific thing that I'm looking for. I just know that the last time I went to the thrift store, I got some really good deals, got some really cute pieces. I haven't shared that with you or anybody on socials yet. It's hot. Then I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's because I have a chemical peel tomorrow, which means that my face is gonna be peeling for a few days. And I'd prefer to stay in my house while my face is going through, you know, those changes. Yeah, I don't wanna scare anybody with my shedded skin. So I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's, stock up on some items, <clears throat> some items that'll help me stay in the house. It's imperative that I get that uh, chemical peel done ASAP because I'm trying to get it out of the way before the holidays so before Thanksgiving and Christmas and my birthday this is kind of like the last time that I can get it done so let's go just made it to the thrift store and I love coming on the weekdays when nobody's here because nobody's here so can I also donate more than clothes because I was looking for like a woman's shelter this would be where I come okay got it okay so skincare makeup perfect I have a bunch oh Juvie's place okay good I'm from Florida mm -hmm. yeah I used to go thrifting in Florida on Monday specifically because they'll be like half off everything on Monday I moved from Tampa Okay. Yeah, yeah, but I was in Orlando for 10 years too, so yeah. Oh, nice. Did you like it? That was so good. The lady who ended up checking me out was a sweetheart. That was a success. I ended up grabbing quite a few things that I forgot to capture on camera. This lippy? The perfect brown for my skin color. Or really, I feel like this brown will go well for a lot of skin colors. I was in there and I was asking her, um, cause I noticed that this says like, it's a thrift store, but it's also a woman's, don't let me lie to you. I don't know if this is a woman's shelter or if they accept things for the woman's shelter here. Either way, I asked about donating and she said, um, just bring anything, they get a lot of nice stuff. And I have a lot of nice stuff too, you guys know that I'm moving, so a lot of my PR I have to give away. I don't use all that stuff and I'm not bringing it to my next place. So I have a lot of nice skincare, a lot of nice makeup that I have not used. Some have been used like once or twice, but I have two different boxes. One that's like never used and then one that's um, lightly used, which is like maybe one to two times. But I love shopping and having a good customer service experience when I where I shop. Let me stop talking. Starting route to Trader Joe's. My phone is always dying. Proceed. Also, have you heard the baby album? Not the baby. Have you heard Lil Baby's album? It's a yes from me. There is, there's quite a few songs that I love on the album. I can't really name you a song that I don't love. Let me know if you've heard it. Let me know your thoughts. All right, y'all are gonna have to let me in, man. Cause y'all be acting like, like look at this traffic. Ain't nobody going anywhere. Y'all be acting like y'all can't let somebody in. I'm a hypocrite because I be doing the same thing, but stop, stop. So there's been, I'm just kind of talking all over the place, but there's been a glitch on Instagram recently. So I woke up to 28, or was it 29? I think it might've been like 28.9 followers. And then it went up to 30K and then it went back up to 30.2K. I was at 30.3K. I'm not really sure what's going on, but that app has really like, it's really on its last leg. It's been on its last leg for 
about a year now. <laughs> Getting real sick and tired. I'm getting a little oily. Makeup still looks good, but I didn't apply a primer today, so this is what I get. Other than getting oily, she looks good still. Does she not? Anyway, when I say I love good customer service, I met this lady, the woman who checked me out at Trader Joe's. Sweetheart, I love her. So I'm checking out and we're just having um, comp casual conversation turns out she's from florida just like me she's from clearwater i moved from tampa which is about an hour away from clearwater she was also in Kissimmee area for a few years and i was in orlando for 10 years Kissimmee is about 30 minutes away from orlando depending on what part of orlando you're in my mom used to actually live in Kissimmee. anyway got a lot of the things that i really wanted in preparation for this peeling process where i'm gonna stay inside of my house most days and my damn camera battery is dying i left my other battery with my esthetician so hopefully I remember to grab it tomorrow let me go ahead and head home I was just lollygagging anyway I just hate when people stare at me while they're like walking toward my car and they see me talking to myself it's normal it's normal mind your business though <laughs> that's normal too I just cracked my favorite kettle yeah my only kettle the clear one all glass for no reason. I was just trying to move my pot from the stove to the sink and I ended up cracking the kettle. Yep. <sighs> I almost forgot, but I definitely told you that I would try on some of the stuff that I bought from the thrift store. Boom, here we are with this vest. Cute and green. This one is so super cute. A little small for me, but it's a cute little vest. This is the final coat. It goes pretty much all the way down to my ankles. This skirt was nice, but I don't really know if, um, if it's gonna fit me. I don't know why I thought extra small was gonna be a good idea, but I did. This ass is not extra small. Oh wait, did I do it? Oh, please, please, please. It's not going. Oh, 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 wait, <laughs> how much was this, $6, wait, does that say $20 or $2, I gotta make sure that doesn't say 20 because I didn't mean to buy it for 20 this is not worth $20, oh god, it's literally this last area right here, this is all I have left to zip and it won't zip, Whatever, it fits. So now I have an outfit idea for this. Look how cute it is. Nice and form fitting, nice and brown, full of leather. And then I don't know if you can see, but it's triangle cut right here. Oh no, wait, no, this has to go back. Look. Oh, 
Yeah, I need to go look at the receipt and make sure they did not charge me $20 for this skirt. Two zero zero. that's $2. And I don't remember seeing $2 something. Yeah, she charged me 20. I had a feeling she charged me 20. Yeah, I'm gonna bring this back and tell her that I was charged incorrectly. I'm tired and I'm going to wash my makeup off and prepare for this chemical peel tomorrow. I will, am I gonna, I might vlog tomorrow. I might vlog tomorrow. Yeah, I might vlog tomorrow. I'm losing my train of thought. I'm going to take a before and then I'll take an after when my face is done peeling. I think my results are gonna be good. My skin is already really, really good, but there are dark mar marks here and there that I would really appreciate seeing no more of, no more of. I will see you guys in my next video. Be sure to subscribe if you have not subscribed already. And I'll see you soon.